Hi guys! Welcome to Bun Smile channel. Today with me again, Jaina. If you are going to spend any amount of time in Thailand, eventually it makes sense to open a bank account here. But with so many banks, which bank should you choose? In this video, we are going to look at 5 of the biggest banks in Thailand and give you an idea of which bank to choose and why. But before we do that, go ahead and smash that like button guys. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm and helps to grow the channel so we can continue to make more videos like this. It does not cost you anything to hit the like button, so go ahead and do it. Okay, so Thailand has a bunch of big banks in no particular order. There are Gasikorn Bank, Bangkok Bank, SCB, Kung Thai Bank, and Kung Si Bank. There are other banks, but we'll focus on these banks for now since they can be easily found in every shopping center, 7-Eleven, or street all around Thailand. We're gonna go for SCB Bank first. Siam Commercial Bank was founded in 1907 by the brother of King Rama V. The prince realized that it's best for Thailand to have their own bank instead of relying on foreign banks to have branches in Thailand. The bank was named the Book Club because it was an experiment and they wanted to keep it quiet. Eventually, the experiment was proved a success and it was granted approval and the name was changed to Siam Commercial Bank in 1907 by the King Julalongkorn. To this day, the royal family of Thailand is still the largest shareholder in this bank, owning around 23% of the shares. This is the biggest bank in Thailand and you will see the logo everywhere around Thailand. You can use foreign ATMs and credit cards quite easily to get money from this bank. A consequence of the bank being so big is that it's usually quite crowded, so if you have to go into a branch, be prepared to wait a bit. But the website is super clear and available in Thai and English. It's easy to see what the requirements to open an account in Thailand are, and of all the websites we looked at, every page was working and they have a really good luck too. In terms of reviews, we checked out Facebook and the general consensus from Thai people is that the bank is very good. However, foreigners gave SCB low marks for bad customer service and long wait times. We do recommend you to open an account since they have a good app and good online services, so you rarely need to go into the branch anyway. The next biggest bank in Thailand is Gasikorn Bank. Most people will refer to this bank as the SK Bank. They have a ton of branches everywhere. Gasikorn Bank was formerly known as Thai Farmers Bank and was founded in 1945, so it's been around for a pretty long time. It has been one of the most financially healthy banks in Thailand and has a big presence here. Kasigorn tends to be more old-fashioned and more manual focused. Their website is confusing and no indication of what a foreigner would need to open an account there. Based on people using their app, it seems to be more old-fashioned in the way of getting things done. On Facebook, some of the branches have a pretty good rating, but some reviews are pretty bad. The main problem seems to be just bad or slow customer service these reviews were posted by both Thai people and foreigners. It seems that K-Bank is working on this image problem. They've released a new Facebook page, K-Bank Live. You can go check it out yourself. If you're doing big deals or have a large company, then you should do business with them because of their size and loan capabilities. However, if you're an individual and you want to do simple online banking, then Gasikon is probably not the best bank for foreigners. Next is Bangkok Bank. Bangkok Bank has a long-standing reputation of being very friendly to foreigners. It was founded in 1948 and is the third largest bank in Thailand. It's one of the few banks in Thailand that has many branches all over the world, so it has experience working with international customers. If you want to do things like currency trading, international investments, and investment banking, then this is the bank for you. It's one of the few banks where you can go on the website and it will explain what a foreigner needs to open an account quite clearly 
Additionally, even if you don't have a work permit, most foreigners can still open an account at Bangkok Bank. It's very clear on the website. The website is well organized, but because of the massive amount of services and account types that they have, it's difficult to find out where you should go or where you can log in to do your digital banking. The mobile app seems to be modern, clear, and easy to navigate without too many restrictions. Although there are not a lot of negative comments on Facebook or other online review sites, it seems that their service is quite limited since 2020 to 2021 due to the global situation. However, many foreigners post good things about Bangkok Bank in online forums. When it's difficult to open an account anywhere else, Bangkok Bank always turns up first in the search results as the place to go to. So, we recommend you to open an account here. Number 4 is Gung Thai Bank. Gung Thai is the fourth largest bank in Thailand and was founded in 1966 from the merger of two other government banks. The bank is owned by the state of Thailand. It also has the most branches in Thailand of a new bank. Plus, it also has a branch in Los Angeles, Cambodia, Laos, and Singapore. So it does have an international presence, which might be helpful if you live in any of those international cities. It does a lot of the kind of banking that Thailand needs to do for things like stimulus packages and financial support of government initiatives. So the bank is firmly about the well-being of Thailand. The website is clear to use and not confusing. But in the requirements to open an account, there is no information for foreigners to open accounts, no requirements, nothing. Which means you have to walk into a nearby bank branch to find out. Luckily, as we said, they have a lot of branches pretty much everywhere around Thailand. But Groom Thai is mainly set up to be a bank for Thai people. Looking at their Facebook page, there does not seem to be a lot of negative reviews, everything is pretty neutral, but again, really, it's a Thai bank, so we do not recommend it for foreigners. Our final bank is Gongsi, otherwise known as the Bank of Ayutthaya. It's the fifth largest bank in Thailand, even though it has a relatively smaller number of branches and ATM machines than the other banks, but Gungsi has specifically marketed itself as catering to small and medium enterprises and individuals, even though they work with large corporations too. They do a lot of consumer financial services, so it's the place to be if you need credit cards, car loans, and online banking. The website is very clear and is good with both English and Thai, but it's hard to find information about the requirements for foreigners to open an account. After a lot of looking around, we could not find any. However, we've read good reports of it being fairly easy to open an account at this bank by foreigners. Of all the banks, it seems to be the most modern and ready for the digital age, both in branches and online. The staff seem to be more approachable and friendly. Looking at reviews on Facebook, it just seems to be very boring, but that's what you want. You want your bank to be super boring, no excitement, just easy to keep and access your money. The branches have very good customer service and a modern and casual atmosphere. We recommend opening a bank account here, but you'll probably have to walk into a branch to check if you are qualified and what you need. Luckily, their application and online services are so good, the branches are usually not crowded. Finally, if you don't want to open a bank account in Thailand, or if you can't, then the next best thing is TransferWise, but they're just called Wise.com these days. Once you set it up, and boy, it is a lot of security hoops to jump through, you can pay anyone locally with a Thai bank account easily and almost instantly, except on weekends when it does take longer. We've put the link in the description below so you can go sign up, but that's exactly the reason why you want a Thai bank account. Believe me, the ability to just quickly transfer even just 20 baht from one person to another is so easy that it makes doing business in Thailand between people or companies easier than in many other countries. 
you can literally stop at a street food stall in the smallest market in the tiniest soy and buy only two mangoes and pay for it with a transfer from your banking app. Almost every adult in Thailand has a bank account with this capability. Want to transfer money to your girlfriend's mother's uncle? Forgot you don't have cash in your pocket when you're in a taxi? Or want to pay for your meal in a restaurant? Just say the word transfer and everyone will show you the QR code or rip out their phone or just tell you their bank account and bank name. Transfers are completely instant and happen in seconds. It's refreshing compared to the United States where a transfer might take hours or even days. It's one of the absolute best features of being in Thailand. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe! See you soon again guys!